top down though it's cool <laughs> um, yeah the devs used to post monthly met accounts for how much top players use, use twitch runes um, do you plan to to have the like the, the meta report posted in the forums again um, so, you know how I say we have, I, I mentioned we have, like, feature lists? Uh, we've got, like, tiers of that. That's actually something that, that, uh, that Sock, uh, started doing and, and, and posting. Uh, um, uh, I can't promise it because, again, it's not, right now, all I can promise is that we're focused on revamp. Um, but, uh, and then after that we're doing, you know, Steam, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, on our feature list, there's a um, concept of formalizing that. So it's not a matter of it being posted. Um, it's going to be available somewhere for you. Yeah, that uh, sounds awesome. Yeah, you know, I could so that could be built in somewhere. Yeah. There are, and I don't, I don't want to get people excited because it's a feature we haven't even agreed on yet. Um, yeah. But there are beyond that there are actually ways to integrate that uh, into the game and, and and into the deck building that I think is really fun and exciting so it's definitely on our list and that I really want to do but um, you know uh, I, I will say this right after we come with, with the Steam release um, it's been way too long since you guys had an expansion so yeah. that's that's currently on our list of right after that um, that said, we also release features with expansions all the time, so um, you know, ta-da. Okay, um, by the way, Crazy Joker says thank you, Geddon. Poxnor is getting much more attention than SOE ever gave it. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next question from Jace Dragon. Uh, is there any plans about the Drums of War? <laughs> uh, Where's yeah. my reward? <laughs> yeah, walls, so guess, yeah. one of the things that, and this this came up last time. Mm -hmm. So again, this kind of goes under the whole um, priority triage thing. Uh, you know, we want to step one is to actually automate the drums of war because I don't know why it requires us to, uh, you know. Uh, uh, warship a, or, or sacrifice a chicken every time Drums of War ends to give you guys all that stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, but <laughs> right now, right now it does. When we got the game back from from SOE, like we were saying, there were ranking scripts and Drums of War scripts and whatever. They didn't know where they were. Uh, much less, and we wound up not getting a lot of stuff um, because they couldn't find it. Um, so tell me the last time it was updated. So, Drums of War kind of fell into that category. The truth is, it should be a formal piece of the game. It's only been in the game since, what was that? Drums of War, right? Um, uh, so, that's kind of step one. And then we want to, we're talking about doing some things um, in tandem with some of the other features that are kind of high up on the list um, to kind of expand it out a little bit, let players know uh, what they're contributing um, let players know, um, you know, what what Drums of War is, and kind of formalize what their awards and stuff uh, will be. So you kind of know the whole time. Right now, it's like, hey, Drums of War ended. What do I get? You know, we want to be like, hey, you know, we're 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 talking about a lot of stuff. So yeah, definitely. Asterisk next to what I'm about to say, we haven't decided yet, but you know, we're envisioning something almost where it's like, hey, if UD wins, you guys get this. If you know, IS wins, you guys get this. Um, and we'll put up the, the rewards, and if they don't win, we don't give it to anybody. So, um... I don't believe you get a free, uh, a free LE rune every time. I, won, I had about 10 gold cartridges. <laughs> so, what's funny, what's funny is this, like, I actually like doing skins a lot more than I like doing golds. Um... And I think players like them more, and they don't take that much more time, believe it or not. Uh, so, um, I like skins. Anyway, that's not what was asked. Go ahead, next one. Yep. Um, uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, this is a good question. Um, one that you definitely won't be looking at for a while, I don't think. But it's a good question about the future. Um, which I think I may have asked you some time ago. Um, 
it's from Raid Officer I'm a Girl and it wants to know do you have any thoughts on future factions and if so how would you implement them with the other runes other factions having Ooh. so many runes <laughs> the uh, so this this actually got uh, gets asked um, <laughs> I, I, I'm glad my cam stopped working otherwise you'd, working, you'd see me cry, you'd see cry. <laughs> people um, always want more people always want more yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting my echoes now too. Anyway, uh, so originally Pox Nora was supposed to have four factions, uh, and that was it. Um, uh, Pox Nora, I don't know if you guys know, was originally originally um, three people in a garage. <laughs> uh, so uh, Dan Kopachensky, who's not part of Desert Owl, uh, Justin Falker, uh, who's Cortices, and myself. Um, uh, you know, we we Justin and I actually designed the game on a napkin, uh, and then <laughs> wound up. That's like total serious. Uh, and then uh, um, a year or two later, uh, we we wound up uh, showing the design to Dan, who whipped out a document and had almost the same game designed. Um, and Pox Nora is a totally weird game. Uh, as far as you know, genre. So that was uh, we're like, okay, well, let's make it. Um, let's it. Anyway, that was kind of a side preamble. We uh, Dan kind of surprised us with adding two more factions mm. before we launched. We went on having six. Um, then he put two more in, so we had eight. Uh, I don't, I don't we regret it because I love every faction, and I think. If we had a three faction game or a four faction game, mm -hmm. it might not have lasted almost a decade yeah, I don't think uh, that would so far. Um, that said, if we were to introduce a new faction, uh, we would have to introduce so many runes that it wouldn't be effective. Um, I think, I think, and actually, it's funny that this is from uh, Raid Officer. Uh, because my answer actually is, I think what's happened uh, is some of the themes and racials are what's bringing out kind of the factions in a faction. So you have barbarians, you have dwarves, you have um, um, spiders. I know they're arthropods, like they were originally spiders, I keep calling them spiders. You have, uh, I think that's kind of where they come up. Um, and like we said in the beginning of this of this call, I think for the simple and this that's a terrible name for it, for the direct themes, um, where they'll have things on base and we'll have upgrades in other factions, uh, people will put together their own kind of themes. I think that's the that's the way to um, to put it together. Um, just because from a monetary standpoint alone. Let me just kind of do a, a quick piece of math here, all right? Um, uh, yeah, it would be, if we were to add a new faction now, uh, it would cost us, um, in rune art, um, around $150,000, um, which is... <laughs> Draw stick, man. That's, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of... And that's assuming that, you know, they all draw them at the same time. Yeah, of um, course. Yeah, you know, so obviously so, it's not something that is likely to happen in the near future, but... <laughs> no, uh, you know, if... We don't, we, don't, we don't need it. It's not something we need. Yeah, I, 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 I guess... Like, I, I know why it got asked, because people like to identify with these groups. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's actually also worth mentioning. When we released Pox Nora, I said we had factions... All that we were were background colors on the cards. You can look at the uh, all the old um, Expansion Zero runes. They all have all the Kathir Forest tend to have the same background. Um, the factions never did anything. We just it was a label like Paladin. Um, people wound up liking it so much that we formalized it. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, I think. Uh... A couple of people were saying Kickstarter, Kickstarter, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with others, uh, Damon Boyer said you could always release a new faction as a new expansion and make it so all the runes in that release were the ninth faction. 
people right. didn't want it they wouldn't buy it if if they loved it you could do more um, if one faction has only 200 runes players might still crave it I, mean, I don't know how many runes you do per expansion but um, <laughs> actually so two things uh, I, t I gave you the wrong number it wasn't 100 it's going to be $250,000 for just the rune art um, but that would wind we would have to wind up having uh, to make things relatively even 180 some odd runes in that new faction which is that's more than one expansion's worth of content. Yeah, I mean, out of interest, what's what's the normal amount of runes you do per expansion? Uh, it depends on uh, the expansion and the timelines, but it's usually between uh, forty and sixty. Um, sometimes more if you count uh, midterms; it can go to seventy or eighty. Um, some of our biggest. You guys can see what the biggest expansions were uh, in, in the list, but... Um, um, so even you know, if it was on the small side, it would be like a double expansion, as it were, basically. Right, yeah. yeah. So, and I, I think I think what we need in the short term, at least, is of uh, we want to get back to a regular expansion cycle, which hasn't happened in, in a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and kind of put those bad boys put those out. Bad boys out. Uh, uh, cool. Hopefully that answers it. Uh, Hardy, if that's your echo, by the way. Hardy! Yeah, Hardy's uh, asleep, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, next question. From Nightmaric, uh, do you have plans on releasing new content mainly a theme support in the next expansion to synergize with the current changes for strong two to three rune combos uh yeah actually that if, if if i could articulate our intentions uh that would be exactly how i would say it mm. it's one of the reasons that we want to that we've redesigned uh some of those future runes and actually we have whole swaths that i've intentionally uh, for the next expansion kept blank uh, because um, uh, what we expected to do was change what we expected to have happen. So the creep and crawl for an example um, if that becomes a direct theme uh, we might want to do things to support it. If uh, we want to, if some of the indirect themes become way more popular um, and people latch on to them will do things to support them. Um, I certainly know we have runes that we've already done for uh, 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 Expansion 26, that's post-Ronin, uh, that we want to have that tier on some themes that exist in the game that haven't been fleshed out. And there are themes that I want to create that are only loose right now. Um, Vampires, for example, um, you know there there is kind of a bleed thing, but that's really more of a demonic deal than it is a vampire deal. Um, and one of the mechanics that got added into the game uh, was vampiric healing as a type uh, that is just ripe for use uh, in some way for a vampire theme. So uh, yeah, as to what they are. Uh, you guys tell me what do you like what do you want to play mm. um, and I'll, I'll see that both from stats and from on the forums uh, you know if you if, if, if what winds up being popular or we want to have more weird skinless creep creatures cool you know whatever <laughs> whatever winds up being I don't think that'll be it but uh, you know uh, we'll see <laughs> KTC long I made KTC a mod in the Twitch chat and he banned Hospi. <laughs> That's classic. Okay. A uh, couple of questions from Morpheus. That's too bad he got banned, Hospi. I'm going to buff this Sebastian, so. <laughs> oh, uh, McNukem says vamps and witches. That's awesome. Cool. Um, but yeah, Morpheus has got a couple of questions here. Um, cool. Uh, he wants to know about payment options. I think PaySafe was the one that was mentioned, especially. 
Yeah, so uh, Cortices wants to fly to Europe and kill somebody. Um, uh, the hey safe guys, it's kind of like talking to a dead cow. It's just like, hey guys, can you answer an email? Please just answer. Just come on. Yeah. Um, so I'll tell you what, that was one nice thing about being Sony. Uh, when we sent someone an email, they would answer. Yeah. Um, now they're like, who? Um, <laughs> Uh, so it it pay safe. We absolutely want to have integration with, um, and we're working with them. It's a very slow process. There's a few other things that we're doing uh, talking about doing integration with. Um, you know, Steam is actually going to be a big deal. Uh, we want to do a full integration uh, monetarily with Steam, yeah. which means you would uh, inherently get all the payment options. Not just Steam Cash, but payment options through Steam uh, right, to go into, the game, yeah. which is something that Sony didn't do. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> yes on this end, and yes on that end. Uh, it's something that uh, uh, Cortices is very, very passionate about. Um, it's just they're moving at the speed of business. Uh, Morpheus wants to know, and I know this is a question we we visited quite heavily last time we spoke. Um, and uh, I think your response last time was that you weren't sure that after the revamp it was be needed. So uh, we'll ask you again: uh, any plans mm. to make legendaries more available? Oh man, I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> I think internally I am the lone holdout uh, right now. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say it because poor sock will get you know inundated. Basically, if I'm at the point now where if if uh, Sock convinces me, I'll probably do it. Um, I still kind of like them as a chase. I still like them as as a trade fodder. Um, you know, I there's a lot of reasons for it. There's a lot of reasons uh, um, against it. So yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that we did play with uh, as the council, but I kind of pushed off until later, was um, kind of changing the definition of legendary to mean named. So Dwarven King is an exotic, um, but Zulos is a legendary. Actually, a better... Dwarven King is an exotic. Um, you and Iron Fist is a legendary. Does that make sense? Um, I'm still playing with that idea, but it's kind of out there. If we do that, we would definitely make them more accessible, but there's a whole other bag of worms. Bag of worms? That's disgusting. <laughs> can of worms is pretty gross, too, but that's the saying. Um, there's a whole other can of worms involved with that, um, yeah, but that's that kind make, of on the... That will make all heroes legendaries. So. Right, which, by definition, we want heroes to be accessible um, I because they're fun and we want fun to be uh, so yeah uh, so if we were to go that route we would totally make them more accessible in the short term uh, like I said I still like them as a chase but you know in, inside Desert Owl like I said I'm still I'm kind of the lone uh, holdout on that idea yeah I think so. there's a very split thing because a lot of people in the community want Availability, playability, etc. But a lot of right. a lot of other people perhaps have collected these runes and they want them to to still have some value in their eyes. You know, um, that's so th right. You that's can't the please whole everybody, thing. no matter what you do on that. You know, right. And making a skin for every LE rune would be um, a big order <laughs> because a lot of the old runes were marked as LE in retrospect, right? Mm. Um, the one that I always go back to that we talked about last time, like the, uh, um, what is it? The Knight's Assistant. I can't remember the name. Squire. The Attendant Squire. Is a legendary. Like, he's a l legendary squire. Like, I, you know, it doesn't, doesn't flow with me. Uh, and having to make an LE, having to make a new skin for him to take him out of LE... It also just feels funny. But 
it's 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 one of the discussions that that's still ongoing. Um, I know this sounds terrible. It it almost feels inevitable at this point, but uh, um, you know, it's not on the short term radar. So that's up for debate still. Okay, right. Um, uh, another question we may have asked you previously um, from Iron Hammer, and he wants to know what you what you plan to do about the mass amount of tickets people still have. Tickets, right? Tickets. Um, so we talked about this uh, this last time, uh, and it's worth bringing up again. Obviously, if um, you know the question happens, the I don't want to have tournaments, a tournament system, unless everyone can play. Mm. That was the intention for writing the system to begin with. Um, when you use the word tournament, um, or and you have any kind of competitive ladder, uh, legal stuff gets really, really scary. Uh, to where all you have to do is be accused of being gambling, and I know that sounds crazy, because it is crazy. <laughs> but if you have a tournament system, there are laws in the U.S. that go state by state, and there are laws that um, are bound internationally. What happened was um, we, we were told we could do open tournaments and draft tournaments in, uh, at SOE. And I was at SOE for, you know, a little bit, right, in the beginning. Um, <clears throat> so we wrote the system, uh, but it turned out SOE had basically made international, had contracts internationally for how things could work with station cash. Because you could buy tickets with station cash, we fell under those rules, and, you know, we had to basically blacklist people from being able to play, um, which uh, I thought was so terrible. Uh you know, one of the reasons I left, right? Uh, I, 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 I hated it. The problem is now, uh, it's not that we would be any more or less open. Uh, we would have to kind of go over all the rules everywhere to do it. Uh, because the problem now is uh, if someone decides to get mad at us and throw a lawsuit our way, we have to explain why we went against whatever the council was that Sony had. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Um, we have to basically cross all our T's and dot all the I's, and the legal rules for this stuff changes all the time. Uh, in fact, when we acquired, reacquired Pox Noir from Sony, uh, that same week, um, uh, the, the, in the U.S., the Justice Department basically issued a new interpretation of the old rules um, regarding tournaments uh, and regarding JPEGs, actually. Uh, uh, the laws on JPEGs changed so we could use them again in the client, which is why the game dropped 200 bags when we got it. Um, there's weird legal stuff involving it. So brushing that uh, crap out of the way, um, we when we reintroduce tournaments, and I'm fully confident we can. Uh, I want to have an internal legal okay, uh, and I want everyone to be able to play. Yeah. Uh, if that means we have to give it away for free and let people play tournaments and get runes basically for free for playing tournaments and figure out a way for that not to get gamed, we'll do it. And if we have to go that far, uh, we will compensate you for your tickets. Um, my hopes are we can do things with tournaments have them be interesting, do the whole draft tournament thing that people uh, find fun and like, uh, and go from there. Uh, so just there's a lot of weird legal hurdles to deal with before we can launch that. Just know that it is something that, 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 that hurts me. I, I, I think it's silly that you can play a game if you use the word tournament at any point. They, uh, the laws change. So, <laughs> yeah. Someone just mentioned the... Uh... Back in the Octobite days, the ten thousand dollar tournament. 
Oh Stick man, I wish my camera well. I wish my camera still worked. I actually found um a box uh with the original cards. And by the way, that was totally it was Justin and I were not were not behind that. Um we never actually had a a tournament. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm looking around for it, but my camera's not on anyway, it doesn't matter. Next time we do one of these I'll have a stack next to me. We have like a you know, the original bog hoppers and the original whatever on the back of the cards had the tournament on it. So mm. I still have some. Anyway. <laughs> That's <Cool>. pretty. <laughs> right, let me find the next question. Um, oh, we already covered the next question. That was from TF Guy and that was about the Steam. So I'll move on. Um, cool. Basket Case wants to know what are your plans hey. to deal with non champ runes? as now you have elevated the damaging spells and relics to a completely new height. Um, I was too interested in my camera working again. What did you say? Oh, the camera's back up. Yay. <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah. Basket Case wants to know uh, what are your plans to deal with non-champion runes as, in his opinion, he feels you've elevated the damaging spells and relics to a new height with the revamp. Okay. So, uh, uh, two directions on that. One, uh, we're still going to address champions in a continuous basis, so um, you know, hopefully that gets mitigated a little bit. Uh, that being said, we kind of mentioned it uh, earlier on, what I want to do with uh, champions, with spells, relics, and equipment, is I want to address them as an ad hoc. So we will be, when the dust starts settling on some of these, on some of the bigger questions, um, for the ones that are really big, we've covered themes, etc. Um, you know, when someone brings up a spell, or I start going through the spells and looking at them, usually when when it starts getting brought up by the community, um, you know, we'll be doing incremental patches that hit certain spells, hit certain relics, and we just do it that way. Um, and I wasn't decided that's how I wanted to do it before yesterday morning. Um, I think part of what made part of the revamp is we already gave you like a big, a big pill to swallow. I want to do something a little bit more incremental because uh, I think between updating the champions uh, and us doing incremental um, changes on certain spells and relics uh, as needed, um, I think players are going to feel more in control to be able to respond to how those things change. Uh, but that's absolutely what, what what's what's uh, what's in the works. So <laughs> as early did my did my thing die? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you need a new webcam. <laughs> Seems a bit a bit uh, dodgy. <laughs> that's what you get for buying Oh wow. The Microsoft webcam. <laughs> right. I don't, I've yeah, had a couple of requests for, from from the guy to ask this question. Um, would banner advertisements in the game launcher and program for free to play players let you have enough freedom to to say hire another programmer, for example? Um, no. <laughs> So we actually, tr I don't know if you remember, we actually tried to do some uh, banner ads uh, in the game client a long time ago. Um, and we, we had a whole thing where um, if you paid for any rune ever, the banner ads would go away. Um, we, it is, it, it's like we shot somebody's dog. The, the player response was not good. Um, so uh, that's kind of one thing. The other part of it is uh, uh, Sony put banner ads on the side of uh, the Pox website, um, which was pretty controversial uh, for a couple of reasons. The people who wanted to advertise there were um, porn yeah, um, uh... and... Uh, other games um, mm. which not a secret hey I play other games mm -hmm. right we, we you know we do 
Uh, everyone does. Um, the most expensive thing that we can do is acquire a new player, right? You, we literally have prices for it. Um, in the industry, is referred to as an acquisition cost, right? Um, it would, and it's it's not cheap, right? Let's say it's uh, uh it's gonna sound cheap, you know, but uh, you know, we pay six, seven dollars to get that one player in. Uh, you know, you do a big ad, ad campaign, you know, one percent of one percent actually click the link, one percent of one percent of those actually go to the website, then half of those guys actually launch the game, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the worst thing that we want to have happen is people come to our site. You know, we pay them, you know, we've paid five dollars to get that guy on the site, and then he sees a, a link um, and clicks that and leaves. That's um, it, yeah, definitely. You know, so that that's kind of one half of it. Uh, I get where you're coming from, and there is non, um, uh, you know, porn and other game related, you know, advertising out there. And Sony did do that for a while, and we tried that for a while. Um, the thing is, the returns on it were never. Uh, great. Yeah. Um, we'll so we, truth is, we could make a little bit of money, but you know, not enough to to make to make a difference. Um, and there's, I'm gonna sound all businessy here for a second. There are two costs, right? There's a the actual, uh, um, uh, there's a perception cost in there. That we're trying to monetize you guys, which is not, you know, that's not even a big deal. And there's also the opportunity cost. If we do that, we can't do another feature uh, or a different feature in its place. Um, so it's a good idea. We tried it. We tried something close to it in the past. Um, it didn't work out the way we wanted it to. Yeah. Um, like we had one in a loading screen for a while. Um, this is a long, long time ago. Um, <laughs> And nobody clicked on it because they were busy loading their game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that answers the question. Yeah, I think it definitely does. Um, Crazy Joker says, if Geddon would update the free walkthrough decks players are given when they complete their faction's walkthrough, it would be much easier for new players to settle up and understand the game. Yeah, I think the walkthrough decks need to change just because we just had a whole revamp. Oh, yeah. So I think when the dust settles, we'll do that. Take into account that system is for uh, uh, basically new player flow, which we haven't advertised. We actually haven't sent an email about the revamp yet uh, either to existing players. It's just been organic. Um, we're going to do that. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. You know, but... Um, uh, you know, those need to get updated. Maybe, maybe what we'll do, and I'm just kind of thinking out loud, is in a week or two, when you know we've revisited a bunch of the um, you know themes and 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 we've have a little bit more things ironed out. Um, you know, we'll do another forum yeah. deal and let people come up with new decks because mm. there's no reason they can't just be totally new. Like, why not? Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of like how they turned out. Uh, I know when we first did the revamp, uh, when we first did the um, uh, starter decks, we said, or the the public decks, uh, we said just make, you know, here are some restrictions and make a deck. Um, I'd like to see, maybe we just say, hey, think of the best deck you possibly can. That's super fun, and we'll put those as uh, the the pre-configured decks and see how they go. Yeah, I mean, Damon Boyer came up with an idea. He said. Uh, I think the free sample battle groups could be something you totally leave up to the player council to decide. Uh, maybe get them to update it automatically, like over time. You know, it's not a bad idea. I mean, that and could they, be something and, and, that they do as a you know as a regular part of their role. You know, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And and, and if they want to, you know, uh, do it themselves, that's fine. If they want to. Um, you know, give access to like take polls, however they want to do it. Mm. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, someone was actually saying in in the chat earlier. I I cannot remember who it was, but there was saying about the about the player council. You know, could they possibly be like a, a pivot between the community and the greens? You know, I, I mean, almost like 
the faction representatives used to be way back in the day with Octopi. That's kind of that's kind of yeah. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. If we did that, we'd probably want a formal like, you know, election system. I don't know how to put that. Mm. Um, so you know they can get cycled out. Um, because this guy Taylor, God man, yeah, I just don't want to <laughs> now, uh, you know, just so you know, the players feel like they they get more. Because I'll what tell you what, say, yeah. people who got on the council got on there by like in some cases by like one vote um you know so i have no problem with with that cycling out and i have no problem with uh the idea of um uh you know them looking at the public text i think it's actually really wise i had i had not thought of that that's a really good idea um yeah explosive likes the idea and he said it would sort out the free-to-play issue <laughs> sure and uh, 8472 of Borg says one election per year, maximum of two year terms. <laughs> <laughs> Term limits! <laughs> I've got a contract now. <laughs> That's funny. 2K says uh, the community should nominate certain highly active members from the factions. Yeah, so a lot of people seem to like that idea, actually. Yeah, I think I think it's, it's, it's cool. Uh, you know... Yeah, Bring I don't it. know if you remember back to when when back in the Octopi days there was a faction Easy. review. Do you God. remember that? Yes, I remember that. That was <laughs> uh so we one of the one of the first uh questions we asked was like, do I like to go back and update runes? Mm -hmm. Uh um that was that was that was me, baby. I love doing that. Um I love making stuff that was shoeboxed in the game again. I love it. Mm -hmm. Um I think it's. I think it mixes up meta, and I think it's super fun. And that was super successful. The faction reviews. Um, um, I thought it was like a really good long-term health thing to have in the game. Yeah. I like the idea. It could be part of, you know, it could be part of the council, it could be part of the faction review. Uh, I think we would do. At one point, we had people like, basically, we would have them pick a rune, and then we would review them, uh, and then we also had people basically say like pick the top 10 runes you want to see change in your faction and we'll do it yeah it's um, like a big poll yeah like a huge poll um that's yeah. that's that's cool if you know i'll put it out to to you guys still listening because if you're still listening now you're hardcore it's been mm -hmm. like two yeah. hours um <laughs> well you apparently know. we have 41 viewers still so great i mean if, if you guys can think of a nice way to pull that together so we don't get too much like uh, term signal to noise so there's not just too much so we can digest what's coming in uh, I would love that in fact that actually might even help for uh, revamp priorities um, so if someone if someone has a great idea and don't don't just blurt it out now like you think about it uh, let, let you know let us know me or um, you know, yeah uh, another quick thing on that um, which just came into the chat uh, Kazakuro914 said could you integrate the faction review into the game itself and poll it weekly god that would be cool yeah <laughs> that would be cool when you log in it's it's got a poll on the first screen and you know you could maybe, yeah, maybe get yeah. some gold for voting or something I don't know Here, here's, here's, here's the uh, so cool idea I want to let that percolate but uh we have to kind of think of the asshat factor. Uh, how many of you have multiple accounts? Yeah, that's... that's I, I, don't, I don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. You uh, would definitely get people voting right? on multiple accounts. Like, so. there, I think that, I think I queried and, like, one guy had, like, 91 renovators. Wow. It's like, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> right? No. So, kidding. you know, and... I love the idea if we can think of a way to do it and we can also we also know you know so maybe we can kind of be like uh 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 you know you can't vote again you already did cheater yeah um, you could definitely limit it to one per IP you know and just log the IPs that have voted that would definitely work yeah but then people will start <laughs> spooping the IPs right um, well, that's yeah, how you play tournaments so, right yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Although they're a bit hardcore if they want to do that several times, you know. I think right, anyone that wants to we, do that is what uh, we totally don't have in Poxnora are hardcore. Mm. That none of them. 
Um, <laughs> 41 people were out for two hours. Yeah, we got a lot of... Uh, so, suffice to say, cool idea, I like it, let's let it percolate and let's see what we can come up with because that would be very cool. <laughs> Everyone uh, loving KTC. <laughs> Basket K says, KTC, we need a transcript within three minutes of the interview going offline posted <laughs> in seven different languages. <laughs> the crazy thing is, that guy could probably do it, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, here it is in German, Swahili, and Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Well, cool, right on. Oh yeah, KTC, not going to happen. Give me seventy-two hours. I can give it in two different languages. <laughs> oh, please, please don't do that. No. <laughs> see my see me say um three thousand times. Um um I mean in seven different languages. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if we've got any. Uh, so we're down to the bare bones of the questions now. So let me see if there's one cool. more I've got. Um, we've covered most of these. Um, yeah, okay, we've pretty much covered all the questions I've got, to be honest. Right. So I'll just That's cover cool. this last one from Nightmaric. Uh, and all he right. wanted to know why is there a disparity in upgrade paths? For example, uh, some some have four choices, and uh, or some have like two choices. Uh, so that's a, that's a wonderful question. Uh, so uh, in certain cases, um, they have two because they only wanted two. Like if it was an upgrade path that I wanted to keep super tight. Uh, examples of that are block one and block two. Mm -hmm. so only got two ranks. Um, and you know that that would that's why it would appear. Um, there are some where I say the average unit, and probably I, I could run a stat, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, I'd say ninety percent of the units have three. Yeah. Um, that that come out there. Some do have more, uh, um, and it's kind of on an ad hoc basis. Like if there's a champion where I wanted them viable in a couple different themes. Uh, it would they would have access to more. Um, one overt example would be the um, Crystal Guardian. His second upgrade path has four. I'm pulling. Up, I'm like, I think that's still true. I was like, I'm doing this from memory. Um, so I think he has because he has essence. Um, what's it called? The the thing that makes a Nora gem. Um, its name is escaping me, uh, but he has that as his one of his upgrade options, and that's why he has four in there. Um, as a side yeah. note, that's a, that's a theme I haven't heard a whole lot about uh, people wanting to be a base theme or not. But that's so that's why some have two and some have four is just to kind of facilitate uh, different groups. Um, and there were a few I did it on just to see if people would complain. Yeah. Um, because having fewer options is is simpler. Not a lot. There's a few of them mostly in the early, early expansion. Like, if I saw a unit wasn't getting played at all, um, and I kind of brought them a little more online, I'd put two options there to see if it was... One, because it might be less overwhelming for a new player um, to have fewer options, and two, to see if people um, cared or noticed yeah. that makes... Hopefully it doesn't make me sound evil, but <laughs> those those are those are rare. Okay, I've just got a couple of quick things from the Twitch chat, and then uh, sure, I think we'll maybe let you have a rest or something. <laughs> <laughs> for you, it's like four a.m. or something for you at this point. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's, it's, like, it's actually only two a.m., so it's just not uh -huh. too late. But we're kind of um, what do you call it? Uh, night people. Uh, uh, night people. I can't, I can't think of what the the bloody saying is. It's like a frog or something. What is it? Night owl. Uh, Markov wants to know what you think of paladins as a theme. I love them. So, <laughs> uh, the the oh, like like as into making them a theme, or as into 
how they exist now, or should they be just what you like about paladins? Like, do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you? <sighs> so, <laughs> I I grew up playing a game uh, called um, Heroes Quest, mm. which was a, a PC game. Right. Um, and as a little kid, I wrote the person um, Lori Cole, who was the designer of that game, a letter. And she responded to me about what I needed to do to get into games. Oh, really? uh, I I still have it. Like, I bring that up because the best thing you could do in that game was become a paladin. Mm. Um, so since I was a little kid, I love it. I have a crazy emotional bias towards paladins, which is what keeps me from doing crazy shit with paladins. Because I'll be like. I want to do paladin. That's cool. You're over here playing hands that can shoot fireballs and they ride motorcycles. <laughs> like, like, I find myself tr like trying to pull back. Uh, if you notice, um, in the first couple, exp in the I think paladins didn't actually come into play until the third expansion with the dwarven paladin. He might have been the second one, and his flavor text actually references me as the head of the paladins. I love paladins. Um, uh, I, I I absolutely love the idea of doing things with them. Uh, it hasn't been something I expressed, and the truth is because I'm so emotionally biased towards the loving that concept that I haven't uh, I haven't done anything anything with it. Um, you know, there 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 are a few. There, there's a few ideas that I kind of have that are that are neat, mostly with the anti-paladin concept, and if that gets fleshed out, um, actually I, I referenced it already in lore, so I can kind of talk about it. Um, there, there is a name for paladin. There's a lot of them, right? Um, uh, uh, paladin, Templar, um, uh, Crusader. If you're going full on religious, you know, jihadi. There's a lot of names for paladin. There's not a whole lot of names for anti-paladin, right? Uh, you know, you have Death Knight, which is, uh, you know, very, um, uh, you know, World of Warcraft-ish and uh, EverQuest-ish. And you have um, um, Blackguard, which is actually, I think, D&D. &D. Like, I think that's might be one of their words. Um, uh, so... I'm playing with an idea for an expansion way down the line that has to do with paladin, anti-paladin, uh, and the name that I'm playing with for the anti-paladin is called a Ganolin, and that actually references real lore. He's kind of the um, Machiavellian betrayer of paladins, and so that might be a class that we do as far as a paladin, anti-paladin. It's still really whatever and I'm talking with a yeah, yeah. with a writer for it's, a story uh, just an idea down the pipe it's just an idea but to answer your question I friggin I friggin love it um, but I feel like the only way I could I could honestly do something is if I did something and then did a counter thing because otherwise you know we just have like 20 Captain Americas with shotguns you know <laughs> uh, so a KTC also wants to know um if it would be possible to get one of the artists, uh, I think someone called Liquid Third, he was speaking to the other day, apparently. He yeah. wants to, to get them to try and do a spotlight. Um, you know, uh, who is it? Banshee X, I think, is that does those spotlights. Yeah, he did the one on me. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know if, if, if you could send him a message or the artist could send him a message or he could send mm -hmm. the artist a message or whatever, but. Let's see. I think he's actually at dinner right now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But but yeah, he thinks it would be really interesting and uh, really nice to get their sort of point of view on it. Yeah, uh, Liquid Third is uh, the artist uh, Tony Lopes. Mm. Uh, so you can see like all of his art, right? Uh, um, what's his favorite? Is... What's what's your favorite rune that he's drawn? Do you know one off the top of your head? <laughs> yes, the one that hasn't been released yet. <laughs> Sorry, it's just <laughs> he just showed it to me the other day, and I'm like, that is so friggin' cool. I can't help it. 
perhaps so, he could leak perhaps he could leak that in the spotlight. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> you know what? Uh, if he wanted to, I wouldn't I wouldn't be against it because it's you'd be like, Oh I know what that is. Oh I know what theme that's for. Yeah. Oh my god, that's awesome. So I think, yeah. that, I think you've got to set that up now, you know? I think you've got to. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to, right? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll talk to him about it. Uh, cool, man. You know, he actually doesn't live that far from me either, so maybe we'll do one of these with him as well. Cool. So. Um, one other quick note, uh, and then I think we're done, uh, from Sandman's. Uh, he uh, wants to know why the limited edition extinguisher, jack Eye extinguisher, has different abilities than the exotic one. Did that just sort of kind of slip through or something? Liar. <laughs> Liar. So the thing the thing is when we have a versions of a rune, they are uh, formally different versions of that rune. We don't have a concept formally of skins, which we might do future whatever whatever. What happens is when we make a change to a rune, it ultimately becomes a manual process of just going into our admin uh, and changing it, which one day I can actually show you what the admin looks like. Um, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> nice screen share. Let's see. I don't think you can do it when you're in a like a. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Doesn't matter anyway. It it would it it's it's like a completely different looking thing. Um, that's not all the algorithms and et cetera et cetera and hmm, like, like cost ratios. Well, um, we could definitely do that at some point, though. I'd just have to kick everyone else out, and we could do that. <laughs> I'm sure they would. Hello. They would like that. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, no. So what happened was, is right now, since they're both uh, individual runes, that they didn't both get updated, and you have now, by asking that question, changed what's going to be in the next patch. So thank you. Oh, what's this? We've got an Inquisitor General. What? Uh, can you see the what I've got on my screen, Geddon? The um. Uh, no, I can see you. <laughs> if you if you open up the stream and you have to mute it because otherwise you'll hear it a lot of echo. Right. Um, you'll see. Image done for Pox Nora. <laughs> Twitch. There we go. <laughs> Let me mute it. <laughs> No, I hit unmute. Okay, I'm sure it'll do me uh, yeah. another advertisement. <laughs> yeah, another transformer yeah, ad. On man. Just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dude, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I like I do like the art on that, yeah. Anyway, Markov linked that, I don't Wait know where he got it from. <laughs> That's copyright oh, SOE. Yeah, SOE apparently by the looks of it, yeah. Is that one of ours? I'm I don't sure. recognize it. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's one they, they had done. Oh, for their one of the other card games that they shut down. Yeah. That's sad. Hmm. I'm actually in. Well, now we're way off topic. I'm actually in one of those card games. They made me a barbarian or something. Huh. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they commissioned it, and I'll have to have uh, Pearl check it out. Mm, yeah, that's pretty. I'm cool. telling you, some of the artwork that we have for this next expansion is Jakub is a master. He is a master. He actually drew a lot of the cooler maps. And as you see, just his art style, that man is brilliant. Yeah. So. Oh, by the way, uh, someone said, uh, what about the name of heretics for the anti-paladins? That's not bad. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Yeah. I'm like, well, so, so here's the thing. I like the idea of the anti-paladin. So you have the... Um, I don't want to do the reverse paladin. I want to do the anti paladin. So mm. you have a paladin that does what's that does what's good, uh, usually for uh, religious reasons or righteous reasons. Uh, I want the opposite to be 
um, the they do what is in their king's best interest yeah. for the sake of being in whatever is in his best interest. Mm-hmm. You know, a little more subversive. Um, just kind of like I will, I will, I'll go kill a whole barrel of babies for you, um, kind of thing. <laughs> Apparently, um, Kazakuro said heretics are paladins who take their views to the extreme. So, kind mm-hmm. of fit with what you were saying earlier. Right. That's that's not that's not off. So, mm. inverted paladin. Yeah. I just. <laughs> All right. Now I'm reading the chat. Cool. All right, guys. I I, I think I need to. Uh, Go drink some water or something. Yeah, definitely. Man. <laughs> anyway, it's been good having you on, and it's been what nearly two and a half hours. So, right, people <laughs> should have plenty to watch and uh, mull over, I guess. Great, and, yeah, uh, and uh, you know, we'll. I think we should do it again too. Uh, yeah, sure. Give people some time to build some more questions. We'll do some more patches, and I think we'll be in uh, good shape. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, anyway, good to have you, man, and. Uh, Good luck Peace. with the rest of the patching. And Yeah, thanks. I'll have a new webcam by then. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. All right. Good, Good night. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Right. Cheers. Come on, bro. Yeah, so that was getting. Um, yeah, I think we'll uh, call it a day. And uh, we sh- for anyone that doesn't, no, we'll be streaming lots of ranked play with group commentary on POX, uh, uploading to YouTube, etc. Over the next few weeks, you'll see us streaming on a regular basis, I would have thought. Um, so we'll try and get uh, plenty of streaming in. Lots of good games on YouTube. and yeah, uh, by me. Entertain the masses. <laughs> anyway. Yeah,